sparring at Evansville University. He became a first-round pick of the Baltimore Bullets in 1965. One year later, however, he was an expansion draft choice of the Chicago Bulls, where he became a fan favorite for 10 seasons. Chicago, I feel, is a great city. I think it's a great basketball city. I always felt like the fans in Chicago, there were many cases we didn't have a lot of fans, but they were very enthusiastic people when they came to the games. They got involved, and they appreciated the fact that a player would work hard. And working hard is what Sloan's game was all about. Practically every year, you could find his name on the league's all-defensive squad. Two times, he made the NBA All-Star team. And he finished his career with a 15-point average, and more impressively, second on the Bulls' all-time rebounding list. Not bad for a 6'5 guard who always gave it 100%. A lot of people thought I was crazy. Maybe they were right. But I was a player that didn't have great ability to play the game. A natural ability as far as being able to run and jump. Uh, my basic contribution to the game was to try to help other people, and uh, by doing that, I concentrated very hard on the defense and rebounding and anything that I got from an offensive standpoint I felt like was a would just be a plus for the team and that's the way the coaches that I played for allowed me to play I heard words like hard-nosed aggressive scrappy are those true well yeah I competed as hard as I could I always had the idea that when the game started I didn't want to come out of the game and after the game was over look back and say well I could have done better, I could have tried harder. I thought that was my job to do that in the first place. And I, I think I accomplished that for the biggest part of my career as a player. After retiring as a player in 1976, Sloan took up coaching. Three years later, he was named as the head coach of the Chicago Bulls. Coincidentally, his first move as a head coach was to name Phil Johnson as his assistant coach. Jerry lasted a little more than two seasons with the Bulls, and led them in 1981 to the best record they've had in a decade. However, after a sluggish start to the next season, Sloan was surprisingly let go. The Bulls have never made the playoffs since. I wouldn't trade the years that I had in coaching for any years that I played because I enjoyed coaching and also enjoyed playing, but I also had, uh, it was just a terrific experience. For now, Sloan is looking forward to the experience of some good old home cooking at the end of the season, as well as a long and productive career right here in Utah. I'm not out campaigning to get a head coaching job. That's not what I'm looking for. I just hope that I can help this team in any way that I can.